It was, it was good to feel like I was playing for something bigger than myself. Hunter Goodman is an Arlington High School alumni who played for Memphis and got drafted by the Rockies to play professional baseball. The start of the story is growing up. I grew up here in Arlington. Um, my mom played, well, first of all, my mom and dad both growing up played baseball and softball. My, life, my whole life was around baseball and different sports. Growing up, I played baseball, basketball, football. I played all of them, always been competitive. Family loves sports, family's really competitive. Um, but then when I got to high school, I really cut it out. I kind of stuck to just football and baseball. And I knew baseball was the one that I always wanted to play and wanted to excel at because that's what I was best at and that's what I enjoyed the most. And um, then after high school, um, I obviously stopped playing football, got a scholarship to Memphis to play. I had a few other options, but thought it was the best opportunity for me to play right away and to get the chance to uh, go to the next level. And because nobody likes to sit in the bench, I didn't want to. I didn't want to just sit the bench, so um, I got to play right away. Um, sophomore year, COVID got shut down. It was honestly a great opportunity to come home, spend time with family. I really enjoyed that year. And then my junior year, played well enough to get drafted. Got drafted by the Rockies, and now I'm playing in the minor leagues. As long as you, as long as you love your family and love, like some people want to get away just because whatever their situation may be, maybe they have rough, a rough family. I love my family and all the things they do for me and all that. So for me, it was a blessing. They could come to every game. If I needed some groceries, they wouldn't, they wouldn't stop, but they would just go get me groceries and help me out. It helped me out a lot. It was, it made everything a lot less stress-free. And at the same time, going to school that close, you still get your away time. Like you, you're not always seeing them every day. Like there's days you'll just hang out with your buddies and you feel like you're away from home. But in reality, if you want to go home that night, 30 minutes away, you can go get a home cooked meal and hang out. So it was nice. Yeah. Hunter discusses the importance of family in his life, and with the loss of his grandmother, he feels that it is important to play for something that is greater than himself. My sophomore year of high school, my grandmother on my dad's side passed away during the district tournament. Actually, I showed I went to her funeral the day of one of our games and had to show up to the game afterwards. But yeah, that was that was a pretty tough moment in my life. Um, it was pretty weird showing up to a game right after and. But I mean, the, I mean, games had to be played, and um, it was it was good to feel like I was playing for something bigger than myself. Um, that was one of the biggest. That was one of the bigger setbacks. Despite being the underdog, Hunter prevailed through and overcame the many obstacles thrown at him. I've never been <clears throat> a huge prospect or anything. I've never been the guy who's like coming out of high school, perfect game, all American, all that stuff. Um, even when I was getting drafted, I still like wasn't getting a whole lot of talk or anything. And then this past year, I did really well and still don't get like a lot of accolades or anything. So it's 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 definitely that's something you have to overcome and stuff. But I try not to think about it because at the end of the day, what you do on the field and field and is going to take care of itself. So you don't have to worry as much about that stuff. But those are definitely two of the things that push me to do what I do. It's trust in the process, um, what you work on every day, what you do off the field and what you do in the preseason. Just trust what you've done. You don't have to change something every day. Like if your swing doesn't feel good, that's okay. Just go out there and trust what you've been doing and trust the process because you worked hard all off season. You worked hard during the season and you, you just got to trust what you've been working hard on and just let everything happen and go out there and have fun. My name is Macy Webb alongside Crystal Coleman and Carter McKay reporting for AHS Tiger Life.